get your laser image and also your sellotape and you're going to need long strips of sellotape that are the same length as your image. Lay them flat across the image and press firmly down. You then need to get another piece of sellotape but this time overlap the sellotape with the original by at least half. You're going to repeat this process until you cover the entire image. It's important that you overlap the sellotape by half because if you don't, when you come to do the image transfer, ultimately your piece will fall apart. Once complete, I like to trim the edges just to make it nice and neat and just check over your image to see whether there are any gaps. So here at the end I think I've missed a little bit so I'm just going to uh, repair that with an extra piece of sellotape. You need to get a damp sponge and you're going to gently um, rub over the back of your image so the paper on the back. And you're just going to add a, a thin layer of water just so that ultimately the paper becomes damp like so. Using your fingers or a sponge, gently rub in circular motions against the image. So you're here now rubbing the paper away, you can see how it's beginning to peel. Add more water as necessary, but gently rub against the image. You'll see that you can begin to see the image pop through and be careful not to rub too hard because you may rub the image away. So work on multiple areas at multiple times for the best results. Remember, this is a laser printed image. This process won't work with an inkjet printed image. Make sure you get all the paper off the edges as well, but rubbing away all the paper, as you can see here. Sometimes if you leave the image to dry, you'll be able to see any paper that you may have missed as it becomes cloudy. But again, just add water and rub the paper away until complete. 